。为什么天亮的时候？ Bangladesh is finishing the tally from its first national election in seven years. We'll speak with an expert on the region about what steps Bangladesh has taken to make it the first peaceful vote in decades. Bangladesh former Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina's Awami League seems to be heading for a pretty decisive victory. In the country's first national election in seven years, Hasina appears to have crushed her bit of rival and retaken power. Early results show her political alliance winning more than a two-thirds majority in Parliament. There are, though, allegations of some irregularities and forgery. Well, for a closer look at the elections that are taking place in Bangladesh, joining me here in London is Asif Saleh, who's the executive director of the human rights group Drishtipat.、Uh, hello, she's very good to have you with us here today. Thank you, Sasha. Now, it looks like we're set for a government with the biggest parliamentary majority since 1973. That's pretty dramatic, isn't it? Coming after a couple of years of military rule. It is very dramatic. I think、uh, the election turnout was overwhelming. It was about. Close to 70 percent. So it's also, on one hand, it was sending a clear message in terms of that the people in Bangladesh believes in democracy, but on the other hand, it's also they are looking for a sweeping change in the country because these two parties kind of、uh, present sort of a different sort of philosophy. But the problem is that the two parties that were on, that the two main parties that were on the ballot sheet, and that there were two big contenders, they don't actually represent that much of a significant change, do they? Because they've been on the scene for so long. Anyway, in the past, is it perhaps more to do with the fact that people were so disillusioned with the military government, which had been in place for a couple of years, which caused this landslide victory, or the, the, the landslide victory, which we are assuming will take place? Right. I mean, this uh, this uh, alliance has been out of power for about seven years、uh, before the military government came in. Uh, then uh, they were the、uh, Kalidasiya's、uh, party, BNP, was in power for five years, and there is in in that part of the、uh, world, it's basically naturally this popular sentiment is always against、uh, the system. So there is an anti-incumbency factor there,、uh, so they, which went against the BNP. But what was surprising was the kind of the scale of the change, the scale of dis discontent among the people, and that's kind of、uh, also kind of、uh, giving a significant message. How confident are you that the Awami League, assuming that it does、uh, progress to power、mm. as we assume, will actually、uh, do a lot about、uh, empowering, re-empowering the disenfranchised, and actually making significant changes? Because it's made an awful lot of promises, and one hopes those are not going to be empty promises. Yes, I mean I think one of the things that Awami League did this time differently was they specifically catered towards the young voters of、uh, of the country. So they. Instead of being backward-looking, they kind of gave a lot of forward-looking statements,、uh, the Vision 2021, giving jobs to the power、uh, younger people, and that's going to be the key challenge: like providing the service, right,、uh, behind the rhetoric, providing the service for the people. They have talked a lot about that, what they're going to do, but they haven't talked about how they're going to finance it. Um, does it alarm you at all, or does it worry you at all that no new faces have emerged onto the political scene? Bearing in mind that we've had these two years、uh, of interim rule, one would have perhaps anticipated that something new would have come up from the grassroots, but that doesn't appear to have happened. What we appear to have is the old guard. Uh, Re-emerging, albeit with new ideas. Yeah, actually, I mean the,、uh, the change is happening in the sense that the Almelik, for example, have out of the 300 MPs, they have given 100, uh, more, close to 100 new faces. So it's it's going to be iterative and it's going to be a slow process. It's gonna, not going to happen overnight, and it's not going to. And the level of I think there was the positive thing, the level of awareness among the general public has increased tremendously. So and this is almost like a second chance for the political parties that the、uh, public has given because now they. Know that if they don't deliver, then the public will root out for the other options. The disenchantment was phenomenal, but at the same time, people have given them the second chance as well. And just very briefly, when do you expect the final result、uh, to be known? I think by tonight. It's、uh, already 295 seats. They have been declared officially, and the, I think the message is loud and clear. To 200, close to 260 has gone to Almeli. Great. Thank you very much, Asif Saleh. Good to talk to you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.